Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Monday, October 7th, 2013. This is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, and I'm your Monday Vlogger B. Now, this week's topic has to do with taking care of your WLS tool. And it reads like this. How do you take care of your WLS tool? What do you do daily and or regularly to ensure your tool is working for you? Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this out there. I'm not the best person to be answering this question because I I don't beat my tool up. I have a lot of respect for my tool, but I neglect it in a few ways, and I'll get into those. Um, but to stay on task and on topic, we'll start with the positive first. Uh, you know, I think it all boils down to me. Uh, it all boils down to... To, to those rules that we have to follow. And not all of them pertain to our tool. A lot of them pertain to our journey and, and our nutrition. But some of them don't, you know. And, and, and I'm talking about things like drinking water, you know, with or after meals, or drinking anything with or after meals. You know, and yeah, it can turn your food into slider food and completely make your tool useless. But it can also do things like like stretch your stoma or stretch your, your what do they call a thing at the end of your, 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 your sleeve you know, for your BSG patients or, or your bypass patients. Um, yeah, those, those can potentially damage your tool. Um, you know, having yourself checked regularly, feeling your port, you know, reporting issues like pain and, and acid reflux or heartburn to your doctor because those are all signs of, of things that could potentially damage your tool. Getting your imaging done. Um, now, getting fills regularly, those types of things uh, are the things that we have to do to take care of our tool. It's just like taking care of our car. You got to get the oil changed. You got to put gas in it. You got to get the transmission flushed every so many hundred thousand miles. Um, you know, I'm cash pay now, so I don't get that done as regularly as I should. I'm way overdue for imaging. I'm really way overdue for uh, for a fill. And uh, now that has more to do with taking care of me than taking care of my tool. My tool operates just the same with or without the fill. I just have to be a hell of a lot more aware of what I'm putting into my body. And I'm not letting my tool do its job. And, and, uh, and that's, that's uh, it's kind of getting off topic there. But, um, you know, some, some of us, uh, I'm not one of these people, but some of us can't use straws. Uh, carbonated beverages is another thing that will destroy any of your tools you know and, and you know, I, I make every effort to avoid those uh, as much as humanly possible I'm not perfect and by any stretch of the imagination but uh, it's definitely something that's not in my daily diet um, trying to think of what else I, I can think of you know that there there are so many things that I, I consider just small stuff now like uh, like not drinking and and the sodas and, and the carbonated things period um, but they're major. They're really major, and over the course of time, can be devastating to our tools. I think a lot of it has to do with being aware of what our body's telling us. You know, not only when we're full, but when we have pains and when we have aches, and, and why those things uh, happen. You know, and do I have heartburn because I ate chili, or do I have heartburn because maybe I had too many sodas and you know I, I've got something going wrong that's that's not right and I need to get looked at and making the call to the doctor and and it's it, like I said it's just like your car you know taking it into the mechanic and saying hey it's got a shimmy when I, I drive down the road you know hey something's not right nine times out of ten your doctor's gonna be just like your mechanic and say oh there's nothing wrong with it you know go ahead but you know it's taking those preventative maintenance measures I think that's important um See, I think that's all I got. Short and sweet topic this week. Uh, yeah, so guys, make sure you thumbs up. Don't thumbs down. Subscribe, tell your friends. Come back and see us tomorrow for another Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works video. Come back and see me on Monday for another Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works vlog. Have a wonderful week, guys, and take care. Bye.